Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. I got a message for you. Mess I can't even talk. That's a blooper. Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. I got messages for you. Let's see what's gonna come out for you Taurus. I'm really, really picking up legal issues here, okay? We got, okay, so I feel like... Okay, uh, wow. I don't know what I'm about to say. Somebody could be trying to stalk a prey or somebody could be in pursuit of something or somebody could be trying to like hunt you down or somebody could be trying to hunt somebody down here. This could be like legal issues, hunting someone down or this could be an official person, an entity or something here we got the justice and then we got the official person both wearing red so i feel like there may be like some someone that wants some type of fairness equality or they may want to balance something here or something is being balanced in a legal situation i feel like someone also could be stalking their lawyer or Somebody's trying to create or invent something here. I feel like somebody wants to have things to flow in, in, in harmony or in balance. Also, I feel like somebody keeps trying to like balance some, something here with someone, but they keep getting hurt with the dancer. And then, yeah, because as I'm looking at this dancer card, there's a little blood on their chest. Okay. <laughs> What's the most important energy for my Taurus? Expectation. You're expecting something here or you're expecting a decision to be made or yeah, okay. So you're expecting some money here from this this masculine, this mature man, this somebody could be older in age. Yeah, this could be a gift. All right, or somebody needs to give you some money here. Yeah, courtship. Okay, so you could be dating someone here a lot older than you. Okay, maybe you need some money from this person or this or this could be a masculine that that wants to get some unexpected money here from dating. Give me courtship and unexpected income. Yeah, a child. Okay, so somebody. Okay, so I'm getting somebody was dating this mature man or whoever this is that is like up in age, Taurus. And they could be expecting a child here. You possibly, yeah, this could be a message. So I'm getting somebody's dating someone that is well off. That could be thinking, maybe somebody thinks that you're pregnant. And then I'm picking up another scenario, another story here that somebody here is pregnant by someone here that's a lot older. Am I right? Let me see. Mature man, unexpected income. Yeah, it's swollen labor. Somebody feels like something is hard work or something is hard to deal with here with the swollen labor. So maybe somebody has a baby on the way. Give me the most important energy here for my tours. Yeah, a confession is coming from a gold digger or somebody that wants to use somebody here for money. What's the most important energy for my tours? We got a love spell. So, yeah, a love spell. Somebody's been bewitched here to get into some type of commitment. So, Taurus, either you could be under a love spell. Yeah, with the fire sign or this fire sign did a love spell on you. Okay, we got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody did a love spell on someone to get serious or to have a commitment here. Yeah, with the narcissist. Yep. Somebody here is too full of themselves. We got the three of wands on the, on the bottom of the deck. Definitely could be an airy sun that you're dealing with, okay? Or somebody here is doing a love spell. Now they're trying to self-reflect here. This person is very narcissistic. They're conceited, arrogant. I'm picking up an arrogant energy. Yeah. So what's the messages here for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Protect me as I want to channel this message. Any all negativity sent to me shall be returned to sender. We got the three of wands again. 
this is someone here at a distance from you with the eight of pentacles i feel like somebody is like waiting to work something out with this pregnancy with the page of pentacles i mean page of cups i keep getting like a pregnancy here so either somebody wants to do a love spell to have some things to change or something was destined to happen or fated to happen we got the temperance somebody here is 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 with the sagittarius or they're in a commitment here with the sagittarius we got a knight of cups energy and we have the eight of swords and then we got the three of swords in reverse the nine of swords i feel like an individual could be worried that you have released them or got over them here this offer came with like some type of attachments here um to get you stuck or to make you i feel like somebody wanted you to constantly be in your head or to be stuck with them okay yeah eight of swords again binding work or a love spell to bind someone this could be a Sagittarius doing this to you. Whoever this is, things are getting serious. A commitment, engagement, marriage. Somebody may want you to be serious with them or, or something. I don't know. Source, okay. What's the will of four? Yeah, the three of wands and Aries specifically. Or somebody's like waiting for things to change. This is like someone doing a love spell and they're waiting for it to change. Like, well, I know this person is going to like something is expanding. This could be like huge changes or something is destined to change in the future. What's the three of wands? The will of fortune. The four of cups. Yeah, rejection. I feel like somebody can see themselves getting rejected with this damn love spell. You could be dealing with a cancer, a Sagittarius or an Aries. What's the three of wands and the four of cups? The six of cups, yes. Yeah, so the high priestess, the six of cups. That's too many, though. What's the three of wands, four of cups? I feel like somebody's future is like a missed opportunity or somebody can look forward towards a, a missed opportunity that is that is destined for all the damn love spells that they did. Yeah, the three of cups, and then they want to come in and reconcile or celebrate about what? What's this three of cups? So okay, so page of cups, page of pens, page of swords. Something is going on with my words. So I feel like <clears throat> somebody's trying to see like if you're with a friend or with a third party, or if you've been collaborating with this friend or with this third party. Or I'm getting somebody has the three of wands and the three of cups is here. Yep, the high priestess. Somebody here is a mistress that does love spells. What's the page of swords and the three of cups? The Page of Swords and the Three of Cups is the Five of Cups. And then they feel guilty about doing this. Okay. Or somebody feels like lame as hell for doing love spells. They should. I feel like you should feel lame as hell for doing a love spell. You should. You should You should feel lame. You should feel low. Because if you have to do a love spell to make somebody want you or to make somebody want to be with you, you got to be the lamest motherfucker on the earth. What? What's the reason they were doing this love spell? I want to know. What's the reason with uh, the love spell? Yeah, because somebody knows. Anyway, the Queen of Swords is quite discerning. This could be a Libra, Page of Pentacles to give. So this could be somebody that did a love spell to trap somebody with a baby, with a pregnancy, or somebody did a love spell so that way they can give them something or have a new opportunity here with them. What's the five of cups? Now somebody here is feeling abandoned and feeling unloved. They feel like nobody cares about them. Oh, everybody leaves me. They don't care. They don't love me anymore. Yeah, it's in the source because stop trying to curse people. That's why. Stop. It's a Gemini doing this. Yeah. Everything ends in this person's life due to these love spells. It's not going to last long. If somebody's trying to curse you, it's going to end abruptly with the Ten of Swords. Then this person's going to feel like they've been betrayed or, oh, like, wait a minute. Like, could be a cancer. They're going to feel betrayed. Like, oh, my goodness. Like, what did I do? Now this person doesn't want me anymore. Now things are over with. But I feel like somebody decided to... to, to, to I feel like somebody decided to choose a third party over a two of cups. They decide they wanted they wanted to hang out. They wanted to party. They wanted to. 
I mean, this is what's coming to somebody's future here. I feel like in the future, whoever this is, they're going to be missing a lot of opportunities. Whoever this is, the three of wands, because they sit and wait all the time. They don't do anything or like, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like also this could be somebody like <clears throat> doing a love spell and waiting for you to come in with your offer. And I'm thinking you're you're not because you know that this person has been like watching a friend of yours or somebody here has been like trying to get some type of knowledge here on a third party. Or maybe you know about this person and, and having third parties or you know about this. You just know something here. We did see the high priestess. Now they're feeling betrayed. They're feeling lost. This person lost out on a real two of cups partnership. Somebody here that had the same like mutual feelings, love. They chose to betray this two of cups. Yeah. They chose to betray this two of cups. For some of you, this person chose to betray this two of cups with a three of cups with a friend. Okay. And now they're scared nine of wands because I feel like somebody here... Yeah, nine of wands, the six of wands. So whoever this is, they could be scared of somebody getting some type of success or somebody's confidence irritates someone and rubs them the wrong way. Their progression, their public recognition, their success. Look at them like looking over there like a fucking weirdo. Now they're on a defense here. Like somebody's offended by somebody else's success or how they're rising. What's the temperance? Weak ass shit. The temperance is the five of wands. So jealousy competition arguments here about an earth angel or or this could be like a, a sagittarius that's jealous this could be a leo don't have to be this could be a four swords a libran okay so i feel like somebody's praying for some type of conflict what's the eight of wands i mean the four swords and the eight of wands so this could be a lot of like communication coming towards someone or somebody sending a lot of attacks towards this person that's very peaceful they rest and retreat whoever this is they're very balanced okay i feel like you could be making peace with the situation here towards or what's the eight of wands something is moving very fast here yeah queen of pentacles somebody could be talking to this could be you this your energy this is Taurus Virgo capricorn so somebody could be like sending a lot of like communication towards your way Yeah. This could be a mother figure. This could be, maybe you could be married or this could be somebody here that's married here. There's a lot of communication back and forth here about some type of conflict or jealousy. What's the conflict about? The five, Yeah, about a hermit, a Virgo, or an older person. This person could be shining a light on something here that they did. Yeah, so this is a this is an older person that's jealous. This could be an older person that's in a commitment. This could be a mother figure. So now this individual, somebody here could be soul searching here about why they're so jealous. What's the hermit? Yeah, the six of swords. Yeah, moving on to calmer waters. So transitioning or somebody here is deciding to just like do the soul do the soul work. I don't know. This is all over a hermit or a hermitess. This could be over somebody here that's peaceful that don't bother nobody. Because somebody wants to be with this earth angel or, yeah, we got the nine of pentacles and the high priestess. This could be some because somebody want to be with you because you're independent. You could be a tarot reader. You could be a high priestess, divine feminine energy. Take care of yourself. Looking beautiful here. I feel like your intuition is protected or you just do things alone and... Somebody is like keeping something hidden or I feel like someone also wants you to put something to rest so that way you can go towards this queen of pentacles. This could be somebody here that somebody is in a commitment here. Okay, this could be a marriage. The queen of pentacles is usually married. Somebody wants you to move on away from this person. They don't want you with this person. I feel like there's someone here that's trying to control your life. Um, who you date, who you talk to behind the scenes, they could be pulling the strings like, well, you shouldn't talk to that person, Taurus. You should talk to this person. Who is this? What's the Eight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles? It's the lovers in reverse. But whoever this is, this Queen of Pentacles, I'm not getting 
This could be somebody, um, a wife or some sort. This could be an older mother with the uh, Queen of Pentacles. And then we see the Hermit. This could be an older Virgo or somebody that's up in age, somebody that's wise. I feel like this is a false person. I feel like there's a lot of one-sidedness going on, a lot of disharmony and bad. This was a bad choice in love anyway. And I feel like this individual did not want you to see that. So they were breaking your heart here behind the scenes with the three of swords and the moon. This person gave you an illusion about your ex or whoever. What's the lovers in reverse? Yeah, seven of swords. Yep. <laughs> Sneaky. 555 five, five on the clock. Yeah, somebody was sneaky. They snuck off to another lover that they didn't even, yeah, confuse. Seven of Cups. This is someone here that was told to, like, sneak off, be dishonest, betray this person, walk away here. But because the Ace of Cups was an illusion, somebody felt like this Ace of Cups was an illusion. And now they could be under judgment for that, for listening to somebody else. Yeah, the High Priestess. So somebody went to a tarot reader and this tarot reader told them like, no, that's not your person. When in fact they was, yeah, whoever the Sagittarius was, was playing mind games with heavy Sagittarius energy. Okay. This person was playing mind games with you or this person was making you, okay, we got the temperance and a five of swords. So somebody could have told you, somebody wanted you to look at this person like a hoe, but that's what I'm getting. Somebody wanted you to look at this individual like they were promiscuous, like they were a whole temperance, the five of swords with the queen of wands. But whoever this this person is, they're very confident. That's all it is. This person is very confident. They're very beautiful. They may be, they may be wise. This person has like rules and leadership. This person is like, yeah, they're, they're independent. Who was giving this bad advice? What's the seven? Who was giving? Yeah, the Ace of Cups to make you fall out of love with this person. I'm getting it could have been a water sign or somebody here that that got repressed emotions. This is someone that don't love themselves, so they wanted you to give up. We see the Seven of Wands. It was in reverse though. Somebody wanted you to give up. Okay, it's like they tried to overwhelm you with a lot of responsibilities, so that way you can be insecure about a connection with someone or just quit, just give up. That person don't love you anyway, or they're not in love with you anyway. That's because this person wanted to control your love life. What's the Knight of Cups? Yeah, the Knight of Cups is the hangman. So you could be going towards this Piscean, or you could something is hard here. Something could be a struggle. Okay. Maybe you're struggling to like believe something or you're struggling when when it comes to like changing your perspective or changing your way of thinking here with the Ten of Wands and the um, Hey Man. So you possibly feel like it's hard to surrender someone, it's hard to let go of someone, or maybe this was this is what they feel about you. What's the Ten of Wands? Hey Man. Yeah, it's the Page of Pentacles. What's the Page of Pentacles? The Fool, yeah. So I feel like <clears throat> you may feel, or somebody may feel like they owe you loyalty. Yeah, this is what this is what I'm picking up. Somebody may feel like they owe you loyalty, or I have to be there. I have to prove myself instead of taking it, going on a new beginning, or being spontaneous and optimistic to go and apologize to this person. I don't know. Yeah, to give them fairness with the justice. It's like, this is like a, a, a we've seen the two of swords, yeah, div division of loyalty or someone is like trying to divide your loyalty or you don't even have to be loyal to that person anyway. So I don't even know why you talking to them or you don't owe them no loyalty. Yeah, the nine of wands. It's like somebody's scared to bring somebody justice or somebody's scared to take accountability or do the right thing with the nine of wands and the justice. Somebody here is like offended by like the truth. Like what? How are you frustrated and offended by the truth? Yeah. And it's like they're scared of a, a cycle closing out because they don't want to stand up and do what the fuck is right. 
they would rather be in this fool like energy so oh well what's the eight of swords but then they go and rethink shit over in their head they think about the truth they know what the fuck the truth is ace of swords eight of swords Whoever this is, yeah, the nine of pentacles about this nine of pentacles. They, This person has clarity about this nine of pentacles. This could be you. Maybe somebody has clarity about you or you have clarity about this Virgo. Somebody here has clarity here. They know what's up. But it's like they refuse to believe. Yeah, the queen of wands. Somebody's like highly attractive. They're a go-getter of good business woman here. This could be you, Taurus, coming out in this queen of wands, confident as energy. And it's like you're determined. The Queen of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles is someone here that is a go-getter, a self-starter, motivated. They're independent, loyal. Th this person knows that you're loyal or you know that somebody here is loyal, period. You know this person is loyal and they were 10 toes down. I don't know why somebody refuses to see it or whatever. Yeah, we got the Queen of Cups. We got the Knight of Swords. What's this Knight of Swords doing? the five of pentacles so this person somebody could be rushing to put you out it could be a queen of cups that we've seen this could be your ex somebody could be rushing to like tell you about some type of financial loss <clears throat> and maybe you could be like you know what don't worry i got you i'll take care of you or you ain't got to worry. this could be a gemini somebody here could be rushing to to leave a situation or rushing to like i don't know what's the what's the knight of swords five of pentacles yeah, the King of Cups. So either somebody could be rushing to this this um, sick person. This could be a Gemini rushing towards somebody here because they sick here with the King of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Yeah. We got the magician. What's going on? Knight of Swords. That just took a turn. <laughs> yeah, we got the justice. Okay, so somebody's like coming to balance something out, or this is like cause and effect, or somebody did something. What's the what's the justice? Okay, this is weird. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Money. What's the King of Pentacles? The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this had to do with money. So this could be like legal issues in regards to money. Yeah. Or somebody here is rushing to give you something here. We got the King of Pentacles. That's Taurus energy too. With the Six of Pentacles. But something here was a mind. What's the King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles? This is weird. It took a turn. Yeah, we got the chair. So somebody's in their car going to go pick up a check or pick up some money here. Or this is someone that's rushing to give you some type of um, fairness or support. Or somebody's rushing to support you. All right. They're coming to support you. Yeah, this could be a family member of yours. That could be rushing to support you. Or this could be an ex. This could be somebody that you broke up with, or I don't know. That's just three of swords. It's the ace of pentacles, yeah. So ace of pentacles and the three of swords. So somebody here is getting money from their ex, or maybe you're deciding to give some money here to your ex. Okay. I don't know. Maybe you could be rushing to support someone, or somebody here could be rushing to support you. This could be the ten, yeah, the ten of pentacles and the temperance, or Somebody here is like rushing because somebody is taking a financial loss. Yeah, we got the four of wands in reverse or somebody's being put out here. They're like, oh, you got to go. We got the temperance. What's the temperance? The strength. Yeah, because all of a sudden this Sagittarius is holding back because they know something. Yeah, the emperor and the knight of wands and the will of fortune. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Well, I do. Yeah, the world. Something is closing out. A cycle is ending. Yeah. Because somebody is holding back. Or somebody is strong when it comes to ending a cycle or completing a cycle here. We got the tempers again. Whoever this, this Sagittarius is, they're holding back. Okay. They're focused on closing something out for good. Finito. Or this is their wish. Or this could be an earth angel or somebody that's very harmonious, very peaceful. The divine closed this cycle. This had nothing to do with a wish. This is something that's supposed to come to, yeah, the two of pentacles in reverse. Yep. 
I feel like someone here is going to be highly unstable when this cycle closed, very disorganized. This could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, or somebody has significant earth and water placements. Somebody's closing something out. Give me this Queen of Pentacles. Whoever this is, this could be a Capricorn that's worried about some type of instability. Yeah, you could definitely be done. Two of Pentacles is Capricorn. The Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn. So what's going on? Somebody's worried. They're fearful. What's the Three of Pentacles about teaming up with someone, collaborating with someone here, or putting this work situation to rest? Or This could be like somebody learning something in their sleep. Yeah. What's the four of swords? Three of pentacles? Somebody here is learning something in their sleep. Yeah, somebody gets exposed while they rest or, yeah, about their sneaky behavior. Seven of swords. So this is like an individual having dreams. And in these dreams, whoever this is, they get exposed. Or a collaboration gets exposed in someone's sleep or... I don't know, man. This is weird. Yeah, communicate, compromise, work it out, and forgive. You could be communicating to, like, keep a cycle open or somebody's trying to do this to you so that way something will not end, okay? Something ending, but remember, something has to end in order for something to begin. So, this is someone here. Their karma is to... <clears throat> somebody has to like do the right thing with the communicate, compromise, forgive and work it out or they're going to experience a lot of karma with the communicate. Yep, somebody, yeah, we got a gold digger. Give me this gold digger. Yeah, divorce. Okay, so we got a gold digger with divorce that could have took a vacation or you're about to be traveling here with the person that you are divorced from or you're going towards this person. You need vacation, gold digger. Somebody wants money here. Yeah, open up your heart. And this is someone here that... <laughs> They don't have a problem with asking for money. They open up their heart when it comes to like asking for money or finances here. All right. <laughs> but with anything else, I don't know, man. Yeah, a water sign. A water sign wants you to open up your heart. Yeah, patience. Just a few more months. Yeah, somebody's experiencing challenges right now i don't know if it's you or for somebody else but there's challenges here or you could be being patient okay when it comes to opening up your heart to this water sign okay but yeah somebody's like um a sack chaser they want them pockets gold digger been coming up in a lot of these reads but this is the last reading that i'm doing for today let's see let's pull, pull some true emotional cards or whatever this is Give me this temperance energy. Who else we got out here? Yeah, this whoever this is, this could be an earth angel. This could be somebody here. They running away. They running away. Somebody here is running away. Yep. There's a fake DNA, a fake pregnancy test here. Okay. Somebody here is fake pregnant. They're lying. This could be a Sagittarius that's saying that they're pregnant by you, Taurus. Or this, I don't know. Yeah, we got a divine masculine in reverse. Give me this queen of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, losing sleep in reverse. Whoever this queen of pentacles is, they're not losing sleep. They're not, or they're making it seem like they're not losing sleep about being happily single. Give me this king of pentacles. King of pentacles could be popping a question or asking somebody for their hand in marriage or... Yeah, but they're living in a moment. This is someone here that will go and just ask you to marry them just because because they're a phony, a trickster. And this is a karmic lesson. So this person lives in a moment. This is like an individual like that say, yeah, I want to get married or we should get married. So they'll pop the question, but this is because they're living in a moment. This is like an individual that'd be like, we should go get married right now. We should go ahead and do it. Like, let's do it. I'm in my feelings. Yeah, they operate out of feelings. Let's go and get married right now. <laughs> Three of Wands. Let's see. Yeah, this person has a family. Or this person could be wanting a family with you or something like that. Or they feeling ashamed for having a family. They're embarrassed. Something is too late. 
and they're fed up here. Divine Masculine in reverse. So, side hustle, spiritual gifts. So, somebody's trying to hustle somebody here with spiritual gifts. Yeah, this is what I'm seeing. So, if you have spiritual gifts towards somebody's like trying to hustle, hustle you, or this is somebody here with Taurus placements that's, that's doing this shit. Spiritual gifts, sex addiction, self-love, trap, secret accounts, and the cycle X. This is crazy. I'm going to leave it there, though. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on so you're not missing any of my videos. Bye, Taurus.